mother is real sensitive to the spirit. She is. Very sensitive. Oh, yeah. If you want something from God, you can get it tonight. We will pray for all I need is some people believe. Or to flow or to cause to flow in a stream to move at a maximum speed or intensity. I want an intensity tonight. A pouring out of his spirit till it just drench you, just overtake you. Say the on overtaking. Hallelujah. So you won't be the same when you, when you get all wet. wet. Or overtaken. When, how, how many of you all been in some rain and just got the moment you stepped out there, you got drenched and just soaking. I'm talking about the soaking. Hallelujah. Y'all looking at me mighty strange. But see, there is a natural as well as a spiritual. Amen. Amen. God kind of a pouring out will take you over. I'm talking about the kind that. You just, you feel it. You know that God has done something. You know that the Spirit has got a hold to you. How many of y'all felt the Spirit just come upon you? Well, if y'all, some of y'all haven't, just said, Lord, give it to me tonight. I want it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. When you hear something, you got that, you know, you got to want what you hear. You got to release your faith in that word. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Get your Bibles and let's write these scriptures down. Proverbs 1, 23. Isaiah 44 and 3. Joel 2, 28 and 29. Then Acts 2, 17 and 18. We'll see how far we get in this word tonight. Because I'm feeling something about to happen in the spirit. Amen. Somebody going to get this. If I was you, I would say, let it be me. All you got to do is believe and release your faith. You can be changed. I want to, I want to see a person change. That's the kind of God that we serve. He can change you in a, in, in, in a, in a, in a vat of an eye. Even be quicker than that. Hallelujah. See, we need some more experiences of the Spirit. Some of y'all dry. Tell it now. Tell it now. Yeah, some yep. of you dry. Mm. And some of you haven't even had a taste of you've been around it, but you haven't had it. Mm. Mm. So you can be around something and don't believe and won't get it. And some people kind of like make fun or talk about it, but never receive it. See, there's a difference when you have it when you don't have it. Yes. When you have it, you you understand it. When you don't have it, you don't quite understand it. Amen. See, that that means you can talk about a thing, but when you're in a thing, that's totally different. Mm. Hallelujah. See, we can talk about being healed, but until you get sick. You understand what I'm talking about? Hallelujah. You know, you can talk about God can provide and, 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 and when you're hungry, you know, how he'll do. But till you get to that point and you get it and you're hungry, you understand what a person feels when they're hungry. Hallelujah. You understand. See, we need to get an understanding about the word of God because, you know, a lot of us don't understand. But if you ask him, he will help you. Yes. Don't be foolish and make fun and talk about it. And you need to ask God. See, you know, a lot of times, I don't know about you, but I have confronted with people. They don't, I don't believe that. Well, because you don't believe it, don't mean it's not real. Huh? I, I told somebody, I said, you need to ask him yourself. Don't go by what people say. Stop going by what people are saying and making mockery of the church. Making mockery of the sanctified folks. Hey Amen. There's somebody up in here. But what you need to do is ask God, if you're real, prove yourself to me. Make yourself known to me. I want to get to know you. 
Come on, church. Hallelujah. You want if you want to know him, it's up to you. Don't go by what everybody say. Because a lot of people out there that saying stuff that they, they, they don't care because they hurt some people going through all kinds of stuff and they just don't believe. But you can believe. All you got to do is ask him, he'll make a believer out of it. When he get through with you, you'll be a witness for him. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. That's, I wasn't going to preach on that, but somebody had to hear that. Yes. Somebody had to hear that. Yes. You know, sometimes people go around to churches just to sit around and see what they do, and they make fun of the saints. Make fun of the believers. But let me tell you, it's real, honey. You got to want it for yourself. You can't go by what people say. Some people in the balance, they want to try to try to try to try, you know, see if it's real, and then they get off into divination. They're on into occult. They're all in that. That works too if you believe it and step into it. Yes, but God is greater than that. I said He's greater than that. A lot of times people want to try that and then say the church ain't got nothing, honey. But I tell you one thing: you don't know my God. My God. Hey, he'll go in your closet. He'll go anywhere, no matter where you are. He'll tell you about yourself. Just like people go to these, what you call them, them people they go to? Psychic. Psychic. Psychic people? They working for the devil. There's a difference, son. But God's servants, they can tell you too about yourself. They call prophets and prophetess. God will reveal. All you got to do is sell out to God and live righteous and live holy. But the psychics don't have to live holy. Y'all don't like what I'm saying. But you know what? The God that we serve is to remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. A lot of young people searching for stuff. And they'll tap into anything. There's excitement. But a lot of excitement, there's death behind it. Hey, Lord, a lot of excitement is not helping you. It's taking you to another, at, at, watch this, to another arena, to another fear, another area where spirits, you open yourself up to different spirits and you have no control of it. So you can't dip and dab and then think you're okay. You're being used by the devil. Because that's on the devil territory. Yes. When you get in the gospel and get in the word of God, you learn how to be saved and separate yourself yes. from witches and warlocks. See, some of the churches have allowed them to come in and to rule. Yes. But God's going to clean house. He want a church that's holy and righteous and totally trust him. He can reveal anything. Lord. He is the creator of all things. Y'all better help me. Glory that you can't mix this. So if you mix it, I got news for you tonight. You're in trouble. If I was you, I ask God to forgive me and get it right and live holy. See, a lot of you got to learn how to wait on God. Some of y'all live patient. You got to learn how to wait on God. Amen. And if, and if it don't answer, you answer what you ask and just wait. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Hello. Yeah. Some of us want things done in a hurry. Yes, yeah. Amen. Yeah. But God is calling for the church to be holy. He said, I am holy. Oh be holy. Yeah. Not keep trying to be, be holy. Yeah. Yeah. Once you become a nurse, you don't keep trying to be a nurse. Yeah. You are a nurse. So hopefully. <laughs> I'm serious. Amen. You go through the course, you go through everything, you pass the test and everything, you get your license, and then you work it. You're supposed to be a nurse. Yeah. Not keep trying to be. That's right. If you keep trying to be, I don't want you to nurse me. Well, y'all want to make it. That's if right. you're holy, you're going to keep being holy. Yes. You're going to stay holy if you love God. Because yes. he's calling for people to be holy. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. You can't just keep bringing stuff into his church. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's when, why there's no power. Yes. Amen. That's why people not getting healed. Yes. People not getting delivered. Yes. They want your money, want your presence. 
but instead your life to be changed. You can't go to heaven any kind of way. You got to prepare yourself down here to go to heaven. You got to get saved first, not trying to get saved in heaven. What that? Yes, God. Yes, God. Well, we're gonna have a good time. minds are messed up. Yes. They've been in churches where they're not really living holy, they're living righteous. And they're not teaching them how because they don't they're not living in themselves. That's right. God wants holy men of God. Yes. I tell you, he's getting ready to pull them up to the forefront now. Because we getting ready to head forth for something that's 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 coming to this earth. Yes. Coming to us as Christians. Yes. We're gonna see if you're really holy or not. Yes. It's holy to jump in the shout. That's right. Now if you jump and shout, what can you live holy out there? That's right. right. Waking up, you know, be around each other. Oh, praise God, hallelujah. Right. Ain't it good? It may sound good. We had a good time. Then we felt the presence of God. But when you leave out of here, uh -huh. how you live it? Right. Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah is the life you live. Yes. Not the gift that you got, it's the fruits that you have. Come on, church. Yes. Some people think they cause they can, you know, they can see. Doesn't that that's that gonna carry them to heaven? It's not, honey. Because other people can see too. See your deep. See your spirit. Well, blessed be the name of right. God. Right. Thank you, Jesus. We gotta be holy. Living it, not just preaching it, y'all. You can get a good sermon and preach it or get a good message and teach, but are you living what you preach? Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Amen. That's all right, yes, yes. It's it's true. Not, don't get so excited because God called you into a place. You ought to, you ought to be concerned, really serious because he called you into a place because you got to be an example for the people. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's all right. Yes, yes. Come on now, I remember coming up in the church, Kojic. You know, they put the mothers and the missionaries, they wore white sometimes. That's right, that's right. You know, yes. That's right, they did. They had their corners. Yes, they did. In white. Yes, they did. They had the missionary. Yes, they did, mother. They had them hats on and stuff. Yes, they did. Looking very pious. Yes, they were. Uh-huh. But someone was mean. Yes, they were. I know what I'm talking about. I was brought up in coaching. Yes, ma'am. They were mean in those white dresses. <laughs> Come on, church. I'm telling you, I got to the point. I said, you know what? I knew God was calling out white. I don't like white. Because the way they were acting. But the Lord let me know white has nothing to do with it. It's the spirit. But people, the way the people don't understand the way you live, the way you act, can cause people appetite. They have respect the person too. Well, blessed be the name of God. Respect the person. But see, if you're in the, in the ministry, you got to love all the people. Amen. Not respect the person. Amen. See, they should see the love of God. The old saints used to say, be sweetly saved. Yes. Not me. Sweetly saved. Hallelujah. That the people, they'll, they'll, they'll come to you, not be running from you. Well, y'all, that's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Come on, church. Amen. Come on, church. Yes. See, if you really saved, you would be in that word and you'd be living that word. Because yes. you're supposed to help teach the young. Yes. How are you going to teach the young and you mean? Yes. Contrary. Yes. Want to do what you want to do. Uh -huh. Don't want to follow instructions. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hey, uh -huh. This is my introduction. It's all right. It's all right. Come on, church. Look like it. Look like in some of these churches, instead of churches getting full, they're getting empty. 
See, you know why it's getting empty? Because they're going the way they want to go and pushing God and completely out. And won't allow the Spirit have His way. Y'all remember, I don't, I'm not going to ask you who all been in coaching. Don't, don't raise your hand. <laughs> remember when God sometimes pick you up? I don't know about you, but who, you know, to prophesy and they'll say, yes, yes, yes. yes. And, you know, yes. you got the message. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Oh, shut up, shut up, shut up. You know what? I went over that thing. That, that bothered me because you didn't get far enough. I'm not saying all the churches, but I know where I was at. So if, you know what? If your church wasn't like that, praise the Lord. Amen. But I'm talking about where I came from. I'm going somewhere with it. Yeah. 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 See, when they did that, then that, 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 that crushed me. Yeah. Wow. And the gift that was in me, I yes. couldn't come forth. Yes. 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 I was there. It grieved the spirit. Yes. 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 Wow. Yes. When you have people praying and crying out to God and God begins to raise them up, they didn't ask to be raised up. Yes. It's the Lord raising them up. To benefit the house. Yeah. Oh, that's all right. But see, if they didn't go far enough themselves, yeah. that's one thing. They could control it. You can't control the spirit of God. You allow the spirit have his way. Yeah. Number two. Somebody said number two. Sometimes they didn't want prophecy to come forth because it would reveal what they were doing behind closed doors. Y'all think that's it. See if y'all keep praying for me. I'm telling you. If it didn't happen in your church, blessed be the name of the Lord. But I'm talking about where I came from. But I kept on praying and seeking the face of God. Because sometimes what happened to people, they stop. Yes. They don't go anywhere. Right. There are people right now in churches today, they're on lockdown. Yes, they are. Lockdown. Because you know what? If the, if the leaders don't go far enough, you surpass them, you in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all can never say it, man. See, that's the reason why those in leadership are supposed to stay on their face to God and get in their place to recognize. Yes. The spirit that's moving in the people of yes. God. And to help mature them and develop them so they can work the way yes. Yes. Okay, okay, Ephesians 4. Let me show you what <laughs> Ephesians 4 and 11. Oh, we're going to have a time. Yes, yes. I just want to talk to you a little bit. all right. It's all right. But I know one thing, when you stay on your face and pray and fast and cry out to God, He begins to stir the spirit up in you. The gift that's in you, this lying dormant. But you know what I have said? If somebody was there just to help me, I would have been a little further along than what I was. Come on, church. We got to be real with this. You can't just push stuff under the rug as if it never happened. It did happen. It did happen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But God said you got to follow not just part of the word, all of the word. This is why, this is what he gave to the church. For the church, his church. Not man's church, but his church. Yes, God. What did he say? And he gave some apostles. He gave some apostles. And some prophets. Some prophets. Some evangelists. Some evangelists. Some pastors. Some pastors. And teachers. And teachers. Why did he give it to them? For the perfecting of the church. Number one, somebody said number one. Number one. For the perfecting of the church. Yeah. To mature the people of God. Yeah. To bring them to a place where they can learn about God and about holiness. Yeah. Amen. Yes, Put in them, pour into them. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Jesus had the disciples. He, they walk with him. They, he poured into their lives. Yes, he did. taught them yes. on hand. Yes, he did. They were with him. Yes. He, they saw with their own eyes what the master could do. Y'all yes. Yes. got the hit. Yes. Yes. Bring them to a place of being mature in yes. this walk of holiness. Because he knew one day he wasn't going to be with them. Yes. 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 We knew that. 
for the perfected. For the work of the ministry. Watch this. For the work of the ministry so they can be able to work. Yes. You got to first train them and teach them how. Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on now. So they can work. Yes. To edify. Yes. To build it up. Yes. Watch this. When you get a group, I'm going to say a group number one, group number two, group number three, and you begin to pour into them. Yes. And train them and teach them. Yes, God. They began to grow. You'll see the growth. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Then after a while, they always come into the unity of the spirit. Yes. Because you teach them, and then what happens? They they come together, yes. learning, yes. and the spirit working, yes. and bringing them into the oneness. Yes. Yeah. That's it. That's it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. When it's like that, then everybody be on the same page. Yeah. But they understand in oh each God. one's Thank office. Yes. 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 So this, watch this, and then afterwards, I don't know why I'm going this way, but see that. But see then what happens when group number one and two and three begin to mature and develop and grow, then you can put them to work in the church. You have no problems with them. No. Versus when someone just come off the street and want to put them to work, they don't know you that well. You don't know them that well. What happened? Then they quit. Then the spirit began to bring them into the unit of the spirit of oneness. Yes. Then their faith. Yes. All together, they began to have the oneness. Yes. Believe in the same thing. Yes. yes. For that church, it'll begin to grow. Yes. You know why? Because you poured into them. Yes. Jesus poured into the disciples. Because yes. he knew one day, watch this, he was going to leave. Yes. These were the ones that his father gave to you. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And, then, and then, you know what? They didn't understand they were mere men, but they didn't understand everything about the spirit. Yes. Yes. But he knew that, but at the same time, he was pouring into them because he knew one day. Wow. One day they would know about it. That's right. Because when he leaves them, that's when they had to step into their office. Yes. 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 But while they were with him, the master was teaching them. Even Peter, he said, Peter? Even he knew every last one of them. Yeah. He even knew the one who was going to betray him. Yeah. But he still loved them and treated them the same. He was running there seeing everything else just like the rest of them. Oh, yes. Teach us. He didn't show no difference. No, he did. But he knew what was going to happen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, so that means you can have some people that come in and you know what they're going to do. You treat them with love and kindness and everything. Right. But whatever God That's says going right. to happen, will happen. Glory to God. He showed no difference. That's right. That's right. No difference. No difference.